Hey, it's Rob with Inyo Pools. This morning I woke up to a beautiful brown pool. Uh, yesterday it was perfectly clear and chemically balanced. So what happened was we had a huge storm uh, last night and we actually had about five inches of rain in just a couple hours. So because of the sheer amount of rain, uh, the deck couldn't drain as quick as it normally does and we had runoff from around the yard into the pool. So now begins the process of cleaning this up. So I'll document that as we go. Um, some people uh, will ask, uh, is there a chemical you can just put in to, to clear this up? There's not really anything you can do. There's a, there's flock and vac, which you could try, but I have a single cartridge system. And that's not really an option for me. Plus, I don't know if that's the best route to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just filter it out the, the old-fashioned way just running the pump and filter 24 7 until it starts to clear up um, and I'll probably have to clean the cartridge several times a day and, and I'll go over that later in the video I'm also going to keep a close eye on the free chlorine level which I'll also cover and the first thing I'm going to do is get the pump started and lower the water level because as you can see it's very high right now so um, we'll go ahead and and get the filter running and then um, we'll document this process along the way. As I mentioned, you're probably gonna have to clean the filter several times during this process. And to know when to clean that uh, filter, you're gonna wanna know what the starting clean pressure should be. Um, so I've gone ahead and cleaned the cartridge and it's currently at 12 PSI. And so once it gets up to about 22 PSI, so 10 PSI higher, 10 pounds higher, um, I'll clean it. Now, it's, it's gonna be different on every pool, so you your starting pressure might be 15 or 20 PSI, and then once it raises 10, you clean it. Um, and we'll link in the description how to clean these different filters if you're not familiar with it. I would recommend uh, vacuuming the bottom of the pool, whether you do it manually or with a robotic or suction or pressure side cleaner uh, to help clean up the pool quicker. Um, if for some reason um, you have a lot of large debris in your pool, I would go ahead and scoop that out manually um, instead of uh, using a vacuum to get that stuff. Uh, but all this, all the stuff in my pool was, was pretty small, so I just dropped the uh, robotic cleaner in there, so that'll help clean up the pool quicker. All right, just a quick update. We are three hours in to this process, and I'm surprised at how much better it looks now versus just a few hours ago. And all that I've done is run the pump um, and I did clean the filter at the very beginning so it started fresh but I haven't had to clean it yet. It's only raised about 4 PSI. And then again I've been running the robotic cleaner and still on its first cycle. All right, next we're gonna adjust the chlorine level. Uh, the chlorine isn't what's gonna clear up the pool, that's gonna be the filter. But you don't wanna have a low chlorine level that could possibly lead to an, an algae bloom, you know, and they just delay the clearing up of your pool. So I wanna make sure I've got a good chlorine level in there. Um, I went ahead and used the Taylor test kit, tested the free chlorine, it was zero. And I, I wanna go ahead and, and boost that up to probably around eight parts per million. Um, I'm going over my target chlorine level, normally around four. Um, just because it's supposed to rain later and I don't know you know how much the organic matter in there is gonna uh, eat up the chlorine so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and double what I would normally do um, and you could we have some tools that we can link uh, down below to help you figure out exactly how much you need to add um, but for this example my, my pools 10,000 gallons uh, the chlorine level is currently zero um, I've got this liquid chlorine um, and it's 10% sodium hypochlorite and so we've got some uh, calculators that you can use on our website um, and so I plug that in and uh, it tells me I need a, basically a half a gallon uh, to get it up to four parts per million but I want to double that so I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, full gallon and uh, to shock the pool and again um, you know, there's other variables that go into that, like the cyanuric level. My cyanuric level is currently 30, so my targets, uh, my normal targets, around four. Um, but um, but again, uh, not to get too bogged down in the details, because this would be a much longer video. 
But again, check out the uh, sources we link below to, to figure out how much you need to add to get your chlorine level up. All right, we are six hours in now and the pool's coming along, looking pretty good. Uh, the only thing I've done is, again, I cleaned the cartridge before we started. It's still only about five PSI higher than, than when we uh, got it going this morning. I've kept the robotic cleaner running this whole time and I've cleaned out that uh, filter um, once and hosed it out. And I've added a, a gallon of the uh, liquid chlorine. That's all we've done so far and it's looking good. I'm hoping we can get it 100% back to normal today. All right, we are nine hours into this process. And as you can see, the pool is pretty clear. I'd say it's about 90% as clear as it was yesterday before the storm. Um, so it's, it's done really well. I'll go ahead and run it overnight just to get the last bits of um, you know what's left in here. And just a couple quick notes. Um, I tested the chlorine level about an hour ago and it, already, it had already gone from eight parts per million um, early this afternoon down to um, one part per million. So I went ahead and threw another gallon in. So when you're doing this, I would check out the chlorine level a couple times a day and just make sure you got enough in there. You don't wanna, again, you don't want an algae bloom where you're trying to clean up the pool. Um, the filter, I only had to clean the, that first initial time um, so, you know, to give you some perspective, it's a 10,000 gallon pool and a 200 square foot cartridge filter. So it can hold a, a good amount of stuff, you know, so if your filter's oversized, you might not have to clean that often. Um, but if it's undersized, you're gonna have to clean it more. So it really just depends on the situation. Um, and, you know, if, if you go a couple days and it's still just a little hazy, you, know, you could put in a little bit of water clarifier and, and that'll help you know give it that finishing touch but if you have any questions about uh, this cleanup or anything pool or spa related visit us over inyopools.com thanks for watching